waits for no one. No one but me. We dance to the drums of war, and all our hearts beat as one. With the new Bandle City release, the meta got completely revamped, something Bomb and I had really wanted for a long, long time, literally months. In fact, we saw so many new decks that the meta, there's only actually a handful of old decks that survived from like a pre-expansion. So there's kind of two ways of looking at this. It's either a breath of fresh air for the game, but hopefully not the start of a power creep in Legend of Ruterra. Obviously, Yu-Gi-Oh, for example, is a card game I can think of that kind of went that way and that ended badly. So this video is going to be doing a bit of a deep dive on the deck that's actually had the best win rate so far in patch 2.15. And a little bit smaller look at two other decks that are also doing quite well as well. So this is best meta decks patch 2.15. The data presented here is analysed by Bomber TV using MOBA analytics. He's a master's tier player with a background in game theory and game design. He took the most winning archetypes into master tier, excluding ones with small play rates, analysed their key properties on why they are so strong. Link to his channel is in a pinned comment and in the card above. Please remember to like and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications too. So let's dive in. This is Starfish and features Zoe and Nami from Targon and Build Rot respectively. It has many low costing cards, in particular a large number of low costing spells. All the followers and champions in the deck are elusive and it's very expensive to build with 9 epic cards needed. The idea behind this deck is to get Zoe and Nami out on the board as quickly as possible and keep them alive whilst generating tons of value on board presence. Zoe levels up when you play 10 cards with different names which is easily done in this deck with all the low costing cards. And as there are basically so many spells, you're going to be wanting to also store up the mana to use as spells later on. Meaning Nami can easily level up by gaining uh, all this kind of spell mana. Obviously she levels up when you've used and gained 7 spell mana. So you want to store the mana and then use it later on uh, when it's in the spell slots. Um, and this is basically going to guarantee that Nami's going to level up really quick, really, really fast and consistently. You can still keep the board state in control with Double Trouble, which is usually a must-have as in your opening hand, as well as your champions. Double Trouble costs 3 mana and summons 2 random 1 cost followers, a very fun card to play in my opinion. Make sure you keep your champions alive with spells like Sun Bless Vigor and Guiding Touch. Sun Bless Vigor grants an ally 2 health permanently and Guiding Touch heals an ally or even your Nexus by 2 and allows you to draw 1 card. It's time to overwhelm your opponent with a wide and tall board of elusives towards the end, and you can use cards such as Fleet Admiral Shelley and Wiggly Burblefish. Their damage can quickly chip away at your opponent's nexus. Wiggly Burblefish usually gets discounted very fast thanks to all the spells that basically kind of count for two. So think of spells like Spell Thief or Gifts from the Beyond, both of which will give you quick access to another spell to quickly kind of chip away at Wiggly's total. Obviously, she gets cheaper to summon the more spells you cast. The moon weapons are perfect for buffing Sparklefly and this works even better when you have a level up Zoe to really kind of demolish every hope an aggro player could have against you. Level up Zoe grants you the ability to grant all your allies the keywords of the card that's just summoned. So this is going to quickly kind of get a bit mad, all your cards are going to have so many different keywords. So overall this deck is quite solid and can be quite uninteractive, uh, it's therefore meant for players that want a straightforward game without having to think too much, you're going to know your strategy and you're going to stick to it. This is discard mid-range and features a mix of cards from Noxus and Piltover and Zorn. The two main champions are Draven and Sarn, and like many aggro decks, there's a lot of cards with low mana cost, with almost every card costing under 3 mana. It's a medium budget deck to build with 3 epic cards needed. This is the new version of the discard strategy that tends to be a bit slower than the other versions, translating better into the late game as well as keeping the kind of crazy aggression from the older versions. This is a late game freck and it can obviously be seen from cards like Scion and Lost Soul which are the two most expensive cards in this uh, deck. A win with this deck by discarding your hand to help fuel the powerful effects of all your cards using it almost in a mid range style combat to win so a little bit almost like Damasio with the mid range kind of elements there uh, but obviously Noxus aggro style. This is Rally Elusives and features Zed and Lulu from Iona. The deck is actually have a mix of cards from Iona and Damasio with Damasio making up most of the spells in the deck. 
The deck is extremely budget to build, with 27 commons needed and not a single epic card needed, meaning beginners can build this extremely quickly. Interestingly, every card also costs between 1 and 4 mana, meaning you're going to have a very strong start to the game. The strategy of this deck is to try and kill your opponent as fast as possible by spamming as many elusives as you can as soon as you kind of have the kind of kill in mind, like almost like their nexus is health is kind of in reaching spot. You can use a rally to one turn kill out of nowhere. Obviously, a rally is where you get another free attack if you don't already have one. For example, Green Gay Duo will quickly gain lots of power due to all the cheap allies you'll be summoning in this kind of deck, and you can use a card like Relentless Pursuit to rally and then all over again you can attack up with your all your buffed up elusive so just attack 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 a uh, very easy strategy and a lot of fun in my opinion and there we go guys what do you think to these new decks i'm certainly having a lot of fun with all of these my favorite of the expansion so far is actually caitlin teemo trap decks but sadly the win rate isn't as good on that one so it's not dominating the meta like these ones i'm curious to hear also what you think about this new format of the video Personally, I've been a lot busier post-pandemic and not been able to dedicate as much time to the channel as I used to be. I thought I'd kind of trial a new video format where I'd do a deep dive at one deck and I'd kind of slightly honourable mentions of some other ones, a bit like I've done today. So I can still kind of focus on that high quality kind of analysis, but kind of balance kind of the video editing time that obviously it's been chipping away more life just at this post-pandemic life. Uh, obviously, I set up the channel in the pandemic, so... Um, that's when I had a lot of free time. Uh, what, what do you think, guys? Please leave it in a comment. I really honestly want to interact with you guys and hear what you think to this. The data presented here is analysed by Bomber TV using MOBA Analytics. He's a Masters tier player with a background in game theory and game design. He took the most winning art types into Master tier, excluding ones with small play rates, analysed their key properties on why they are so strong. Link to his channel is in the pinned comment and in the card above. What do you think is the best deck right now? I would love to hear in the comments. Up next is best meta decks patch 2.16, taking a look at the strong decks in that patch and to see how they compare and contrast the ones in this one. Maybe some of the same decks will be here, maybe they'll be completely new, who knows. I've recently set up an Instagram account, at Law Guides, and I'll be doing a giveaway shortly. Please follow this account for see posts about new videos and for being a chance of winning this giveaway. Please remember to like and subscribe and turn on bell notifications too. See you next time guys.